Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to the new briefing. And welcome back to the Red Sea Reefer 250 series. If you guys really do like this episode or enjoy it, just make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button just to help the channel grow. Alright, so this week is uh, week number three for the tank cycle. The tank has been doing great. Um, you know, I've had haven't had any issues with cycling perfectly and as you can see here we have a little bit of a diatom breakout but that's fine i also picked up a new powerhead a cheap one twenty dollars from uh pet petco there was a sale for the the powerhead so that's why i got that powerhead and if you look at the rock if you look at it closely you can see there's a bunch of red dark coralline g spots coralline algae spots all over the rock and there's some green uh, light green coralline al algae as well and it's just covering the rock which is good this is a great sign um, and as you can see here I test the water the nitrate finally went down to zero and the sorry the nitrite went down to zero the nitrate was hovering around 10 ppm or 5 um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a water change just to bring that nitrate down but I saw one also let you guys know I've been uh, dosing this purple tech the reason why is because I haven't been doing water changes so the purple tech will help replenish all of the alkaline magnesium and calcium in the tank to help all the coralline algae growth this is how I do my uh, salt water changes as you can see here uh, what I'll do is I'll take the I make the salt water poured into this tank uh, and take the old water and put it into the new tank the rest of the reefer and you can see here I picked up a a bulk resupply RO DI kit for $40 off of uh, offer up so you can't beat that there's the RO water being made and I also make my own water RO water uh, for drinking and there's my discharge water and you can see here here's a tank so uh, once I'm done doing a water change for the old tank I'll uh, start doing a water change on this tank I do about once a week so what I'm doing is I'm grabbing all that bacteria from the old tank and just putting it back into this tank so you know, just uh, just to help it out and the tank cycle went very fast with this process so I highly suggest everyone just to cycle their tank this way if you have an extra tank just grab some of that old water from the old tank and put that into the new tank and I also did have some like very small live rocks up that I uh, put in the refugium as well but uh, I highly recommend you guys do this process. So, uh, the tank is cycling. After the water change, I did test it. Everything was down to zero. So now I'm ready to go. Uh, now I'm ready, or may, I should be ready to start moving everything over from the old tank into this one.